Okay, um, yeah, my fraps record him. Okay, guys, this is an SLI build. Now, for those of you who don't know what, what SLI is, SLI, <laughs> if my internet doesn't want to be a douchebag, is a images. It's when you link multiple graphics cards together, as you can hear, see here, using an SLI jumper. Now, this allows you to combine all the performance of all three of the graphics cards together into one screen. So, you could have an SLI jumper between three graphics cards output into one screen. That will, instead of the performance from one of them graphics cards, it will be optimizing all three. So, say with one, you're getting 60 frames per second. If you have two, like you can see just there, in theory, you'll be getting 120. And if you have three, like you can see just there, you'll be getting, um, not 100, 180 in theory. But as you can see here, no here, <laughs> it's being optimized for multiple screens. Now this me the reason this works is because it. One minute, what does this say? Oh yeah, see if you SLI Far Cry 2, 180 percent more performance. Hulk Hulk X, almost 100 percent more, almost double the performance when you SLI. It's not exactly double because you lose some of that signal through the um white through the jumper. So, but it's almost 100%. That's also another external SLI setup. Um, so this is the type of setup that I'm going to be showing you. <laughs> now, first of all, this setup does only include one graphics card. It, so, if you would like to use the SLI features, you would need to buy multiple graphics card and an SLI jumper. You could easily Google it with a quick Google result um, search of SLI. You can see multiple returns saying telling you how to set how to set up an SLI. How to set up here, here, here. It just tells you all about it. So any more information we found with a quick Google search. Now I'm going to start this video off with a. Let me just find it. <laughs> with the processor. The processor is an AMD FX four one um four one seventy. Now this processor has, if I can find it, it weighs four point five four grams. It has is a dual. Um, quad core, which means it's four processors basically. Um, it's 125 watts is what it uses, um, and I believe it's overclockable. This is also an A APU, I think. Let me just double check. Processor. I don't know if this is an A. No, the one that I used in my other build was an APU, wasn't that? Yeah, I don't believe this one's an APU like in my other build. So this one isn't an accelerated processing unit, therefore this one doesn't have onboard graphics. <laughs> but yeah, so that's why this is designed for SLI. So next, I will go to the motherboard. The motherboard is an Zeus M5A99X Evo R2 motherboard. This is the this motherboard is compatible with Windows 8. It's an AM3 motherboard, which is kind of weird because I. I think I might have screwed up here, guys. Yeah, I think I've screwed up. Okay, um, no wait, that processor is an AM3 processor. F170 quad core CPU was an AM3, is it? I thought that was an FM2 processor. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna have to correct myself here. Oh yeah, AM3. Sorry, I was wrong. This is not an FM2 processor like I thought it was. Watch rich. Wait, and I believe it might be an APU as well. Save a clock ball. Extra burst of raw speed with most AMD Turbo Core and what rich crisp HD video. So it might be an APU, it might not, I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's. Wait, what? Um, wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, I was just. I was wrong. Okay, enough of that. So yeah, this is a. <coughs> AM3 motherboard. This motherboard accepts DDR3 SD RAM. It is a 32. It accepts up to f 32 gigabytes of RAM. Which is three fa thirty two thousand seven hundred sixty eight megabytes of RAM. It's made by Zeus. It weighs one point two kilograms, and it um a ASIN is B zero zero eight R P Z U Z K. Um, and the shipping weight for it is one point six kilograms. They will be available to order on the 9th of May twenty. No, wait, no, no, they won't. Sorry, forget that. Forget that. Forget that. Okay, next is the RAM. I have selected 8 GB of RAM because that's most games only use 4 GB. Most games are only utilized for 4 GB of RAM. <laughs> so, 
this is two RAM modules, both of which are running at um, six, 1600 MHz. They are DDR3, they are Vengeance, which is a pretty good make, but Vengeance are also made by Corsair, so that makes it even Corsair, however you want to pronounce it, so that makes it even better, because I prefer them to most other brands. The recommended retail price is £111 and it's only being sold for £44. So yeah, you can tell that you're getting quite a big saving there. Um, it's 11, it's 11, one fa 113 grams and it are, it's two 4 gig modules and it takes 1.5 volts. So that's the RAM. Wait, what? Why is this up? I didn't click on that, did I? Wait, what? Why is that up? That shouldn't be up. Why are you being a douchebag computer? Okay, guys, my computer's been a douchebag. Maybe I... No. Wait. Okay, my computer's done being a douchebag. Okay, next I'm going to be using... I'm going to be showing off the graphics card. The graphics card is an Asus NVIDIA GeForce GT640 graphics card. This is a 2 gig DDR3 graphics card that runs on a PCI Express 3.0 port. It has two... Um, it has a VGA output, two v and two v DVI-D outputs. Also, this has a... 7.1 rating on the Windows Index, it, and it also has an HDMI output. It's also a 3D graphics card, um, as you can see, I'm video 3D ready there. Um, the graphics card weighs 798 grams, it has 248 megabytes, it's DDR3 SD RAM, and it's two, um, it's 350 watts. So, wait, 150, 350, 500. So, I might actually need to up the power supply to 600 watts. Sorry, that was my mistake. Um, let me just repair that. Um, 600 watt PSU. Okay. Delete that. Add that. Do a refresh. Okay, there we go. Problem solved. <coughs> okay. Next is a Western Digital Caviar Blue 500 go what? 500 gigabyte hard drive. The reason I picked this is because I know Rest and Digital are a pretty good make. I've had I've had quite a few Rest and Digital hard drives. I have a Rest and Digital hard drive in the computer I'm using right now to record this, and I also have a one terabyte Western Digital My Passport hard drive. These are excellent hard drives. I've never had any problems with them, other than one that I had a problem with because I dropped it, and when I dropped it, this needle just here broke. So yeah, they are excellent hard drives. I would. I am definitely recommend them. Next is just a cheap LG CH24N S9A, um, 24 times SATA internal drive. This doesn't give you any luxuries like Blu-ray or anything like that. It's just um, it's just cheap. You do all you want it for is install Windows. You're not gonna n honestly. Who uses discs anymore? It's all about Steam. Yeah, none of these games are on disc. They're all Steam. Go be recycle bin. No one likes you when you've got Amazon. That rhymes. Okay, next is a Corsair CMP. I didn't mean to click on that. It is. It is a Corsair CMP SU 600 CX V2 UK Builder Series 600 watt power supply. Now this has a max current of 25A, um, 40A. Zip. Oh wait, no, these are amps. Sorry. So it has a max of 25 amp. No, 40 amps. And it goes out as l at as little as 0 0.8 amps. I don't kind of know how to understand that. It's written down as the max current is 25A, comma 25A, comma 40A, comma 0 0.8A, comma 3A. So anyone who knows what that means, um, post in the description to help other people, please. It's got a three-year man manufacturer warranty, and it has it outputs at 600 watts, I believe. Yep, 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 yep. I'm right with that. I'm right. Don't don't quote me. I'm right though. It's a 2.3 kilogram pack, and its product number is CMPSU-600 CXV2 UK. It's so yeah, that is that. Um, I'll read. I'll read you one of the reviews if I can find one that's similar to read. Nice PSU, very quiet. Wires are long, so it'll be fine in a bottom-mounted case such as an Antec 300. No problem running a six. 687A plus 95 watt CPU. So yeah, that's okay. One minute. 
And then this next one it says never go cheap, and it's got five star. So I've used this power supply for the past few m for the past few months and replaced to replace a very cheap 500 watt PSU that failed on me in less than a week. Needless to say, when it comes to Cusair, they know their stuff. Great build quality, easy to install on my micro ATX motherboard, and supports my GTX 550 Ti perfectly. I will gladly be using more of Cusair's prod products or Corsair or however you want to say it. So this concludes my less than 500, well my, I'm um, less than 450 pound SLI compatible. Just remember you will need to get multiple graphics cards to use the SLI features. And you will need to check the, how many, oh, actually I'll check for you now. But this motherboard is only capable of holding a certain amount of um, things. And let me just get an up down vi picture and I'll show you. This can go up to 32 gig of RAM by the way. So I would say one, two, you could probably put yeah, three graphics cards in this. So you can go try graphics cards if you wish. Um it's not this motherboard doesn't support onboard video, so don't think that you're gonna be getting any of that like in my other build. So you will be limited to the amount of screens that your graphics card can do. And once again I will say I love this graphics card. I have one I've had one in a desktop computer before that I used to have. So yeah, they're amazing graphics cards. And it's got, I believe, trip is either got triple or quad outputs. So this can do four or three screens. It's one of them. So yeah, thanks for watching. Once again, this is the Hellclan 3v7. And I'll see you later.